Alright, this is lesson number two. We're going to go into what I call the front of the house. Alright, last lesson we covered that we're in open E tuning. Went over the notes of the strings. You can do an E, an A, and a B chord. That gives you a 1, 4, 5 blues progression right there so you could get started jamming. Now, you're going to be getting bored with that, hopefully by, that, by now. And you're going to want to do something else. So what, I have a, a, my own little way of explaining this. So I have the front of the house and the back of the house. Wherever you're putting the root note of your progression, so right now we're using E as the root note of our progression. So we're in the key of E. From that fret forward, you can do the third fret. So you got open, third fret, sixth string, open, third fret, fifth string, open, third fret, fourth string. On the third string, you're just going to hit the first fret, no open, just one single note on that string. Open, second string, third fret, second string. Open, first string, third fret, first string. Okay, bear with me, I'm just starting this lesson thing, so I get a little mixed up. That is what I call the front of the house, because anywhere you start the key of your song, which is going to be most of the time the first chord of the progression, we're going to take for an example, we're going to switch the key of our song to G. So the first chord would be on the third fret. Okay, get the idea. Those notes that we were using down here, the open and the third fret, you just change that first note to being where your first finger is instead of the open string. So that's the what I call the front of the house. It's the front of wherever your finger is for whatever your chord you're playing at that time. When you go, we'll just revert back to the E progression to keep this easy for right now. Your second chord is going to be that A. Just take your time, mess around with what I just showed you. I'm not going to call it the front of the box, front of the house for now. We'll see if I change that later, depending on how many people start yelling at me who are perfectionists on how these things should be called. Next time, this is going to be the end of the lesson for number two. Next time, we're going to do what's called the back of the house, which is the back end behind the fret that you're playing on. All right.